Hi y'all. This video is about how to rebuild the front end of the Singer 237. I start by installing the pickup leader lever. From there it is a process of continuing the build. I get the needle bar, presser bar, and swing needle gear in place and that is where the video will end. Coming up, the next video will be about the stop will be about stop lock washer issues. After that it will be a vid about cleaning the 348 which really needs needs a bath in the worst way. Making these videos is how I learn to be a better restorer. I am a one-man video production studio here in downtown Montreal. Jeb Adams does it all by himself. Jeb also pays the cost of production all by himself. I'm not going to ask you for money. What I sincerely request is that you subscribe and like. Thanks. Enjoy. Have a great day. Have fun. Yes, here we are. Just about to get started with putting a couple of the parts together for the assembly. Okay, so I had already put this back on. I put it on with that screw and the, the tension pin, the tension stud, I put the pin in. So now I can put the the tension stud in. What I do want to point out is that this is nice and straight. Usually these things take a beating and uh, this one is really good condition. It hasn't been bent or, or um, you know, corrupted. The thread is still good it looks like. But anyway, we know we want the slot on a horizontal and we'll just put it in right in there like that. And, and here's the screw here to tighten that. That should seat. That should tighten. There, that's firm and that's firm. So now what I want to do is I want to get the tension assembly and the assembly is constructed as follows. We have the, the spring, then the two discs, and then the thread guard. And uh, the spring has a tab there and that's for going on that horizontal slot there. So I've got it together like that and it's spring, discs, and guard and the back tab of the spring and the guard has a probe that goes in there. Get the plus minus indicator with the plus and minus on top and we remember to put the crossbar that way. It's easy to reverse it. It's an easy mistake to make so I won't. <laughs> Not while you're watching. <laughs> and then I have the, the tension stud spring, the beehive spring and it also has a, a tab, a horizontal tab. Put that on there like that then we have the lock washer and on the lock washer the bent tab it points towards the camera like that. Then I take the number dial trying to keep the 0 and 9 up at the top. I push the number dial in against the spring and that will give me room to get the screw on. And the screw has a little stud. Wow it's nice that that thread is still good. So there. So there's the pickup lever and the walk lock washer is behind it there. So got to get this on and what I want to do is I want to put this post here. I want it to go on here like that. Like that. And then that lock washer goes on now. There. There, that's on there. That lock washer is on there. And that's not coming off. Sweet. So that's where I'm up to now. I got the lock washer on and then I installed this piece and this piece goes in there. Through there into there. And the other thing about this piece is that right here that screw is a reverse threaded screw. So it's not lefty loosey and righty tighty. It's righty loosey and lefty tighty. And so that goes on there and then this device and we want the set screw right there facing the front. So that's where we're at now. Nice. It's starting to come together. Got the tension device on. Got the pickup lever on and uh, or the whatever. Yeah. And uh, what I'm going to do now is is get this on and that is the screw that I got to take off to get this on. So I'm just going to take this screwdriver. 
I'm really enjoying working on these machines that have been cleaned, you know, because they come in real grubby and then they get nice and clean. All right, let me see if I can get that skirt on. Saturday night at Jeb Adams Studio. What a great place to be. And what I'm looking at here are the parts for the, uh, for the front end, the presser bar, the needle bar, and uh, the, the swing arm bar, the, the zigzag bar up there, and uh, you know, the lever and the bushings and all the, all the pieces. There's quite, you know, there's quite a few uh, pieces once you start putting it all together. So that's my next, uh, these parts are the next ones I'm gonna be working on because this is where I'm at right now. We'll uh, see if I can get that stuff on, get the needle bar set correctly and the press bar set correctly. And uh, I've been watching some, some videos, you know where. Maybe you're working along with, with this as well on your machine, your 237 or 239. I hope so. Hope you're having fun. Now I'm not setting this or anything, I'm just putting this on the presser bar because I want to install this and just see how it all fits before I actually put the, the swing arm on. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing now. That's my my intense now. What I want to talk about for a minute is that when I look at these pieces, if what I'm what I'm noticing is this. When I put this piece on the presser bar here, I'm just gonna loosen this to show you what I'm talking about. So when I slide the presser bar through there it's nice and smooth. And I draw your attention to that mark there and to the marks up here. Because I have wire brushed this with this brush. I didn't film it entirely, but there is a couple of clips with me. Oops, I hit the camera. Sorry, you guys. So here's my point, that when I try to take it out this way, there's resistance. And even before I get there, right around here, where you see some scratches and that, you can hear it and feel it. So, what I'm thinking is that this was probably somewhere around here. That's what I'm speculating. And if it wasn't, then was it down here? So that's what I'm trying to figure out. At the same time, this all has to go together. So, and this is part of this. This all has to go together, right? So there's the upper bushing that goes at the top of the machine. And you can tell the bottom bushing because it's got the thread cutter. Where's the thread cutter? Oops. Here it is. There's the thread cutter there. So that's the bottom bushing and this one's the top. And are they both? I think they're both symmetrical. I think they're... Are both ends of this the same? I don't think so. I think this one is different. I can... This is smoother and there's definitely a ridge there of some sort. Maybe not. Maybe it's just me being too too analytical or focused or whatever. But anyway, so for now, I'm gonna put this on because <laughs> that's something I can actually do. And it has to go there anyway, and it's all part and parcel of that whole swing needle machinery. It's just after 
it's after four in the morning Sunday I've been working on this video I started last night and this is the screw right yes it is this is the screw that goes right here and so you can see how the thread is down here and then it's blank you know it's smooth and that's like with all pivoting screws because what this one does is it holds that so it's got to have that unthreaded portion where this can can move <laughs> yeehaw but that screw is snug as is that one and if we look closely at those screws we can see how sort of bent we can see the marks on the inside of the slot from the pressure from you know people trying to tighten or loosen that's where we're at now and what I would like to learn how to do now is figure out this and how it relates to you've got to be a bushing down here and a bushing up here so that's what's kind of going on there now all right the screw to secure the top bushing the screw is right there and the top bushing is there so I'm going to let that slide down to where I think it is the correct level and that's in there and that's the top bushing and it's tight now this is all going to be rechecked before I ever put any electricity towards it there's a lot of checks that still have to occur before plug goes in the in the wall or whatever okay I want to get lined up a little more for that again there's still a lot of dark murky little corners in there isn't there I'm making progress so what are we gonna what am I gonna do next I want to do something with this bottom bearing the bushing and we know it's got the we know it has a thread cutter on it so that makes me realize that if it's got that thread cutter the bushing sits something like that and the screw for this bushing is the screw I'm doing right now with my thumb and forefinger is for the for the face plate for the front plate right right the the screw for this bushing is right here so I'm going to level level it up I'm just gonna try and see if there's a mark that I can go by I think there is I think that's the like this is where you can tell that's where it was inserted to because there's a difference in the in the look there so I think that it needs to be something like that but I'm not sure but I'm gonna go with that for now and I'm just gonna put it in there snug because I know I gotta fiddle with it so that's barely snug and this screw for the faceplate cover is going back where it belongs and you know what and that is done close to correct and I'll, I'll show you quickly why I say that because remember I have that 239 right over there so I never took that bushing out of there of that 239 and when you look at it that is pretty similar to that so you know when I go to final adjustment I'll be pretty close already I'll be starting from close but that is loose those are loose and now they're not well they are somewhat but that hasn't been set either yet so I'm rambling and wasting battery energy here what is required next so where's my pressure bar so I've got the pressure bar lined up like that right now and and looking at this bar here I see that yeah I think it's I think it's supposed to be like that so you know where I can check and see another one like that is right over on that 239 beside us but anyway I digress I'm going to I am going to what am I going to do let me get my fingers back in there and get this dude lined up so now what I've done is I've loosened this screw that's that screw so it'll float freely kind of so I want to lower that because I want this this thing here the bottom of this thing to sit right on there okay fair enough I'm just gonna hold that with my hand for a minute they 
What happened there? What shifted there? And then I'm going to loosen the top one again because I want to raise that one now so I can get that to clear in there. And then if I have to adjust the bottom one and the top one, that'll be fine too. There. I lost something there. What did I lose? Never mind. Let me tighten this one first so I don't lose it. Did I just lose the bottom bearing? I surely did. There. And I'm pretty sure that's where I want it, right there. But it'll be set, you know, it'll be checked and set before we ever plug it in, right? So that one's on pretty darn snug. And this top one is pretty darn snug. I like it. This is with the 80 to 200 mil lens on the, on the cam. Let me get back here and see what I can see. Nice. Let me get a little light on the subject. And then I want to hook up the lavalier mic because it is really good sounding microphone. Then I just got to plug it into the camera. And so now the sound is should be pretty good even if I even if I walk up there which I'm gonna do so yeah it's coming along all I got to do now is here's the presser bar the other part of the presser bar is already on the machine that goes on top of that part there's a tube as well and uh, then there's the foot and then there's the the screw for the for the foot and then here is the needle bar and what I can show you about the needle bar what I can show you about the needle bar is is right here are the marks to to set the needle bar and this is where the needle goes in this end the jib goes in there and then the the needle bar clamp clamp screw so I've gone ahead and done a bunch of stuff the presser bar is back in I have the the foot on the dog is in the throat plate cover is on and the needle bar is in and of course the the swing arm, the zigzag bar, it is on. Now the driving bar, the zigzag driving bar, if I can call it that, it goes up there. So there's a, a little view of uh, both the 239 and the 237, and uh, obviously 237 on the left and 239 at the back there on the right. This was a really great video for me to do, and I hope it was for you too. I hope that a number of people were able to get some value and uh, good knowledge out of watching me play with the machines and the upper technology. I was able to grease up there. There's a, a bear, uh, bearing up there. Stop there. And uh, I want to thank you for spending your time here. Um, I really do appreciate that. Anyway, my friends, take care of yourselves. Have fun. And come on back again. Adios, amigos.